Hey, it's Trey like a lunch tray here and today I want to talk about my favorite thing coming to Halo Master Chief Collection with the Season 8 update. Let's get into it. With Season 8 coming out any day now, 343 Industries has been pushing their Season 8 flight test on everybody very recently in September and there's a ton of changes on this flight test. There's a new map from Halo Online, Icebox, uh, new weapons, uh, or not, oh yeah, some new weapon skins, um, some new armor for Halo 3 and like Reach. Also some new custom customization with campaign that you can add like your weapons and vehicle skins to it now. Um, and a few other things. My favorite thing is definitely the ability to change the weapon FOVs. So they added these new sliders that let you change the positioning of the weapons. So if you kind of understand how normal FOV works in games where you can see more on the edges of your screen typically is how those FOV sliders Normally on console games, FOV is typically around like the numbers like 60 to 70, so it's a lot narrower view. And then on PC games, you're able to stretch it out to like 120, typically, so you can see like um, really far to your left and right. Weapon FOV sliders function very similar, except you're adjusting the position of the actual in-game weapon on your screen. So if you can tell in my gameplay, it's Halo 3 right now for PC. The BR weapon model takes up like a huge portion, I would argue about a quarter of the screen especially when you're reloading it's like half the screen okay so weapon fov will let you actually adjust the actual position of it and um i did play around on their new halo infinite beta they did have the fov sliders for weapons in that game already even though it's only in beta and that was pretty fun and interesting to kind of position the weapons a bit better and i do appreciate that in any game regardless uh, as long as it's a shooter uh, it lets you adjust your actual perspective FOV and then the weapon FOV. That's that's pretty big for me. Um, typically I like to keep the weapons as center of the screen possible and take up the least amount of space. So typically the lower center of the game. If I'm really sweaty, I'll remove the weapon FOV or, or the weapons models in general. You know, just be the best <laughs> for, for me, but um, that's not an option. It, well, hopefully they'll add it into the game, but I doubt it since they have weapon skins now. Uh, anyway, there's a ton of different like things coming out in the next season eight. That one is definitely the one I'm looking forward to the most. Like they actually added that technically because um, you can position your crosshair either to be centered or lowered on uh, MCC collection. The lowered crosshair actually already lowers your weapon FOV in the game. Uh, the weapon FOV will slightly go lower to match your crosshair a bit better. And so that ability has been in the game, but you haven't been able to adjust it. Um, I've tried testing out playing with lower crosshair, and I just I just can't stand it. it. The game just looks too weird to me. I feel like I'm looking up at my screen instead of looking at my screen, just because of how the view models change too a little bit. So it's really annoying. I'm getting all my information from the HaloWaypoint.com under the forums post that 343 Industries made. It's a locked post. It's the MCC development and flight updates. They basically just post any updates related at all to MCC in this form post. I'll go ahead and link it in the description as well so you guys can check it out. It's pretty interesting seeing the last couple updates. Uh, they kind of like do mini interviews with themselves about like the things they change and any issues or troubleshooting they had to go through, which is kind of neat if you care about the game and kind of read into it. These developers aren't humans at the end of the day, but um, uh, like, uh, just push the game out already. Just take the update. Who cares? Push out the update. I don't just do it. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for this video. If you like listening to me ramble about upcoming changes to the Halo Master Chief Collection Season 8, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I love reading your comments and I do read all of them. Please check out all my socials and follow me on there. Links to all of them will be below in the video description, which is Twitter at iLunchTrayII and Insta at iLunchTrayII, which is the same. My gameplay comes from my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv. Um, oh my goodness, which is Twitch TV slash lunch tray. If you catch me streaming Halo, let me know that you came from one of my YouTube videos. It would really make my day. And last but not least, I would like to leave this special message for any 343 devs who might be watching this video. Just like Cortana said to Master Chief in Halo 3, don't make a girl promise if you know you can't keep it. Talk to you later.